Welcome to this Oracle Fusion in-year new business e-learning module. In this module you will learn what is the in-year new business forecast calculation, how to create the in-year new business record for an opportunity, how to edit the in-year new business information for an opportunity, how changes to the opportunity's revenue and close date items affect the in-year new business forecast, and how to cross-check if an in-year new business record has been properly created. What is the in-year new business forecast calculation? An opportunity's in-year new business, in short IYNB, calculation forecasts the revenue that can be expected in all remaining calendar months from the close date until the end of the year. It is calculated automatically based on the opportunity's close date and revenue values defined in the Opportunity Summary and Revenue Items sections. However, it can be manually edited to reflect specific factors that the automatic routine could not take into account. How to create a record for the in-year new business forecast calculation? To create a new in-year new business calculation record, navigate to the opportunity for which you want to run the in-year new business calculation. Make sure that at least one product with its respective revenue value is defined in your Opportunities Revenue Items section. To add the in-year new business calculation, go to your Opportunities Additional Details section. You might have to expand the view by clicking on the little triangle next to the Additional Details caption to be able to view the records there. The leftmost tab, IYNB Calculation, should already be selected by default. If this is not the case and another tab is selected, simply click on the IYNB Calculation tab header. To create a record and run the IYNB Forecast Calculation, click the green plus button. You'll notice that after a couple of seconds, the Created By, Creation Date and Forecast Last Updated fields as well as the data fields for the months and scope in the additional information section below are populated automatically. The automatic calculation takes into account the summed up revenue for all products defined in your Opportunities Revenue Items section, calculates the revenue per calendar month and populates the fields for the remaining months with the resulting value. In our example the revenue value is 50,000 GBP and the close date is the 5th of September 2014. If the close date is set to any date from the 1st to the 14th day of a given month, then that month will be included fully in the initial calculation. If the date is set to the 15th or later, then that month will not be included in the calculation. In our example with the close date set at the 5th of September, the calendar month September is therefore included in the calculation. You can now save this calculation by clicking on the Save or Save and Close buttons at the top of the Edit Opportunity screen. Please note that once you saved your opportunity with the IYNB calculation, you won't be able to add another IYNB record since there can only be one IYNB record per opportunity. If you try to add another IYNB record by clicking on the green plus button, an error message will appear informing you that this action is not allowed. How to edit a record for the IYNB forecast calculation. Note that you can manually override the monthly forecast to account for specific circumstances that the automatic routine may not take into account. You may, for instance, update the forecast for the first month to reflect certain fees that would only occur once, or you may want to raise the values for December due to the expected increase in turnover before Christmas. Just enter a new value into the desired field, and save the opportunity by clicking on the Save or Save and Close buttons at the top of the Edit Opportunity screen once more. Let's see what happens when we alter the close date in the Opportunities Summary section. Scroll up to the Opportunities Summary section. 
Expand it by clicking the little triangle next to it if required. Current close date is the 5th of September 2014. Open the calendar applet and select a new date. Let's say the 25th of September 2014. Then save the altered opportunity by clicking the Save button at the top of the Edit Opportunity screen. A warning message appears, warning you that the calculation has been altered. Click OK to confirm. Now scroll down again to the Additional Details section and have a look at our IYNB record. Note that the September forecast is gone, since we now picked a date close to the second half of September. Also note that the forecasts for the remaining months have been recalculated based on the revenue value of 50,000 in the Opportunity Revenue Items section, with an even spread across three remaining months overwriting our previous edit for December. The same would happen if we had altered the revenue values in the Opportunity Revenue Items section. You might have noticed the Update IYNB button. This button triggers a fresh calculation of the IYNB forecasts for all months, only based on the current revenue value and close date. It will also overwrite all previous edits, so you should not click it after you altered any values in your forecast. In our example, the December value we edited to 5,000 earlier has been reset to the automatically assigned value of 4,166 and 67, same as for the other months. Cross-check if IYNB record is created correctly. OK, so you have created and saved your IYNB record. However, you should cross-check if it really has been properly created and saved. And in order to do that, go to the Sales Dashboard. To go to the Sales Dashboard screen, select Sales Dashboard from the navigator at the top of the screen. Click the Compass icon to bring up the navigator. And select Sales Dashboard. On the Sales Dashboard, select the IYNB Pipeline FC tab. Check if you find your IYNB forecast listed here with its properties in place. Attention though, the amounts are given in US dollars here. If you can't find your record among all the items showing up here, set filters and trigger a filtered search by clicking on Apply. Instead of going to the IYNB Pipeline FC tab to cross-check on your IYNB record, you can also go to the My Records tab on the Sales Dashboard. Once there, select the IYNB tab. Again, check if you find your IYNB forecast listed here with its properties in place. And again, you may wish to run a filtered search in case too many items appear on the list. Congratulations! You've completed the in-year new business online class.